So when we're working with a fearful animal, the rules are a little bit different. Okay. I notice Sadie, um, and I mean, it's, it's very difficult to not want to verbally encourage an animal when they seem like they are mentally stuck. However, that's like you trying to think about something and someone constantly interrupting your thought, right? So like Sadie, when we were trying to get him to leave the courtyard, right? I kept saying, it's okay. Just let him think. We're also not going to get stuck, right? But every now and again, that leash is going to get tight. Good boy. Do you see how he just kind of, he yielded to that pressure? It's okay. Good boy. I don't care that he didn't come back to me. Okay. Good boy. All I care about <clears throat> is that this leash goes from tight to loose. Right? Tight to loose. Good job, Oz. Good job, Ozzy. And I want to point out and make sure that this is very, very specific on this. I am not pulling on this leash. It is just, con it is simply connected to me. And anytime I have a hand on it, it is only to make sure it does not make this line longer and potentially break it, right? That's how I ended up breaking my first side sling bag like this. Right? So all I'm doing is pinching down to make sure that this leash, good boy, doesn't get any longer. Because what we always want to make sure is that they're yielding to our pressure, right? No matter how gentle that pressure is, he's leaning into that pressure right now, right? That leash is taunt, right? Good boy. I want that nice loose U shape in that leash, right? And he yielded to my pressure. So we're going to walk a few steps where Ozzy wants. I'm just going to hold. Good boy. See how the slack is now in it, right? We like that. Now it's taunt. Good boy. And what we're always going to make sure that we do, and for right now, just let him drag the leash around at your house. Any kind of leash work like this where we're yielding to pressure, let me do it until further notice, please. Good boy. Just because the timing has to be so accurate, right? The timing of the release of the pressure, the timing of when we're walking, it just needs to be so accurate that, like, it would be very difficult for me to even make sure that timing is correct if you were here with us right now, right? Because I can't make your body do the doings that I can make mine do when I'm thinking of the things. Good boy. See right here? Okay. He's got a little bit distracted, and that's okay. Literally, all I'm asking of him right now, y'all, is to not pancake onto the ground. That's it. That's it. That is, that is the only objective here. Good boy. That's okay. That's okay. He's allowed to do kind of whatever he wants. Good boy, Ozman. Good boy, Ozman. Good boy. It's all right. He doesn't want me to touch him. That's okay. He acknowledged my hand. See that? And he walked away from it. I'm not going to touch him. That's like someone saying, hey, don't touch me. And you touching them anyway. Don't like that. We don't like that. Right? Good job. That's okay. And we're just going to go. See how he's leaning into that pressure? Good boy. And I'm verbally rewarding, right, with that good boy as soon as I feel that tension go away. Good boy. And the most important thing that we can do right here is when he's leaning into that tension on this leash, is we stop.
Good boy. I exhaled audibly, right? And he came back to me. He wants to go that way. I'm going to turn my body the direction I'd like to go. So he's putting pressure onto that leash, right? Good boy. That's okay. He's still got pressure on the end of that leash, right? Good boy. Good boy. And I kind of had to make myself a little U-turn. And this dog is going to walk like a drunk person, right? That That's totally okay. Good boy. Let's go this way. Again, the only objective right here is for him to feel this tension on that harness. Good boy. <clears throat> And to not be so scared that he pancakes and flattens onto the ground, right? Good boy. Because we don't want new environments to be scary. Not only did I take a few minutes and tighten his harness up when we got here. Um, but I took a few minutes and just like had him on a leash and opened up all the car doors. So that he could see where we were past couple days. You know, we've gotten here and you know, anytime you're getting in and out of a car, you're generally getting in and out of a car with a specific goal in mind like you're going to somewhere you get the dog out and the dog gets out and you put the dog back in the car right we don't want the whole like transition in and out of the car high to be terrifying because like he doesn't really like being picked up right that's why he goes and pancakes when we go to pick him up right <clears throat> which is another reason instead of ever going over top of him and picking him up like this I go around right I go under the hips on the back and I go under the chest on the front that also puts my face in a better position high where if he were to flop flail in any direction hi or if you're ever picking up and dealing with a dog that you're unsure may or may not lunge towards your face that puts your face well if you if you have a dog that you're unsure may or may not lunge towards your face just, just don't get your face anywhere close to it right um but like if you have a dog like a larger dog you're afraid they may flail or flop when you go to pick them up that puts your head in a better position to not get your nose nose or chin busted right and you see how he came up to me and now we're getting some nice, sweet little butt scratches. He said, I'm done comprehending what's over there. Comfort me. Okay. <laughs> okay. We just gonna look at stuff. It's pretty cool, right? Lots of smells. Beagles are what are referred to as scent hounds, right? Good boy. See, that is your classification. You're a scent hound. So, like with Brandy, I like her to walk with her face up off the ground, right? He is almost always going to have that face on the ground. That's okay. That's that's the breed, right? But you see how we have nice forward motion right now? Good job, baby. Good job, baby. I've almost called him my horse's name several times just because, like, my horse is kind of a nervous boy. Just a little bit. See, just a little bit. And we use kind of the same. Good job. Good job, Ozzy. Ozzy, Eddie, relatively close, right? Hi, Ozman. Good boy. Good job, sweetheart. See how he's just coming back towards me real easy. We're not using any treats. He doesn't want to receive treats right now. I'm going to keep myself from getting tangled up in this leash. So he's getting kind of further out there, right? He's getting towards the end of that line. It got a little taunt. Good job. He he yielded to me, right? And my hand can be on this leash and there's no pressure on it, right? Just because a leash is, in some cases, short, like if you're walking in a parking lot, um, or if you're walking on a sidewalk near a road, you want your leash short, but what we never want is our leash to be tight because that is just teaching our dog to not yield to the pressure, right? That is doing the opposite of what we are doing right here. That is counter conditioning the training. Good job. And same thing with Brandy. Like if she ever hits the end of that leash and wants to pull, stop, ask her to come back to you. 
you know? Ask her to get back. Yeah, that's Scully. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't you don't need to see her. You don't need to see the giant baby. She's not really a baby anymore. She's over two years old. Right. So he's on the end of that leash. My feet are stopped. And I do, I want to get him that way where we're out of sight of those windows where she'll stop chirping. So he's distracted, right? That's okay. I'm going to make sure this leash doesn't get any tighter or looser because I don't want him to walk forward. You see how slowly I'm walking up on him? Good boy. Slow and steady is the name of the game here, right, y'all? So, short, loose leash. I am going to... So, he turned his head towards my sound, right? That's okay. Short leash, right? Just because he hits the end of it doesn't necessarily mean it needs to get any longer. And what my objective right now is, is for him to stay high, good, good, whoa, baby, whoa, baby, whoa, baby. I want to break his line of sight. We're not just going to go any direction you'd like. I'd like you to go, there we 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 go. I don't care where we go. I want to make a U-turn, right? If he wants to lean into the pressure in one direction, I want to walk the opposite direction all of a sudden, right? When we're working with a dog that is training, that is not trained, right? There's a difference there, a big one. Like, you know, if, we, if we're working with a dog like this, training, brandy, trained, Brandy knows. We have expectations for Brandy. This dog, we have very, very few expectations for, right? I have a lot of expectations of Brandy because she's highly intelligent. That's okay. See, again, I made a little bit of a noise, right? I just made that kiss-kiss sound. So I'm going to shorten up on this leash. It is still loose, okay? Loose, 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 right? Oh, I don't want him to go anywhere. Just because I walk up to you, absolutely 100% does not mean walk away, right? So we're right here, we're stopped. I'm just going to kind of take, hi, a couple small, hi, quick. It's okay, I'm going to body block it. I'm walking backwards, okay, y'all? Whoa. Okay. Ozzy, I need you to stop. Okay. This is how we fix that flight response. Because if I'm trying to get in front of the dog to get a hand on the dog, hi. To make sure that the dog doesn't jump out into a road or something crazy and get hit by a car or some whack stuff like that. Dogs are insane. They're smart compared to what? You know what I'm saying? Good boy. If I'm trying to walk up on the dog and the dog sees something across the street, just for, uh, just for sake of, you know, just as a, an example, right? I need to be able to get a hand on him at all times. Which means, if I start walking in his direction, I need him to not walk away. That also means if I have a hand on him, like right now, and I've just got a couple fingers up under this harness, right? I need him to yield to this pressure. Yeah, he moved one foot back. I'm going to give... This is another reason. Stuff like this. I need to be doing this. Like, this. this is... This is that rehab work, because this is a three-year-old dog. We've got to be real careful about how we do this, right? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. We're not moving, right? Good boy. He can move into me. What we're not going to do is walk out of this space. 
And to further reinforce that fact to him, I'm going to sit all the way on the ground. I've got one finger here, right? Nice deep exhale. Okay. Good boy. He stood there for a few seconds. I'm going to let him walk away. There's the end of that leash again. There's the end of that leash again. Hi. Beagles are roamers, right? They're scent hounds. If that nose hits the ground and they start following a scent, they'll be gone. And especially one like him, because he is a massive flight risk. We've talked about that. Haven't we? So there's no tension on this leash here, right? It's just short. He stopped on it. As he, hi. Mm -hmm. That leash got real short, didn't it? Because it's wrapped around me. I'm going to lean into, yeah, good boy. He yielded just a little bit. That leash got loose. I say that right here is an excellent spot for you to sit down. Loose, right? He's standing there being still just because he wants to. Because that's how we're going to get the most effective response, right? Is because we are suggesting what we'd like and we're seeing if the dog will do it hi just because we asked like I said right now he's learning right learning they were learning you're doing a very good job yes you are Flaky little skin. Give us your flaky skin. Good boy. Good boy. See how quiet that verbal praise is, right? Soft is the name of the game. So right here, he's saying, I trust you that this area is safe, even though I'm not sure, right? And it is safe. I would never put him or any dog intentionally in a situation that is unsafe, right? Hi. We need to prove that to them. Because just like with a person, you can't just walk up and say, hey, you can trust me. And I go, oh, yeah, I can trust you. Nah, it, do <laughs> it does not work like that, does it? Say, it doesn't work like that, does it, buddy? It doesn't work like that with dogs either. They do not just instinctually trust us because they are dogs and we are people, okay? Never. That, that's just not how that works. Especially a dog like him that has up until recently only ever been shown you should be afraid of people which is also why when we're working with an animal that is very fearful the rules are going to be different good boy because he has been counter conditioned to think that people should be scary right Good boy. 
Good job, Ozzy. Like I was telling Kelly the other day, this dog is incredibly brave. This dog wants to recover. You see how he's meandering? Hi, and I'm just standing still. Yes, now we're both standing still. Hi. And ideally, you'll come all the way up to me, all the way to my hand. Yes, indeed. That's how we fix that flight risk, right? Because I want him to come up to me. Good. And I want him to know that hand doesn't mean anything, anything scary is going to happen, right? You can even walk back away from that hand. And I'm just kind of crouching down on the ground. I'm not sitting all the way down right now. I've just got a hand on this to make sure it doesn't get tangled around me and or him. There we go. You're okay. almost got caught there didn't we so you see how he's not necessarily just interested in coming to me because I'm kneeling on the ground on his level so it makes him a flight risk <laughs> it is what makes you flighty that's not necessarily what makes him flighty that's just that is a sign that if I wanted this dog's attention right now and were to walk up on him he'd run away right He'd run from my hand. Good boy. I'm just going to touch him on that collar. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to pet him under the chin, right? Good job. I'm going to lean away and I'm going to let him walk off. Good job, bud. I'm not here to trap you. I'm not here to catch you. I'm not here to drag you away. We're just checking stuff out, right? It's pretty cool. Good job, Ozzy.